Hello everyone, in this highlighting shorts, I am going to tell you about mycosis fungoids. It's a cutaneous T cell type of lymphoma and leukemic form is called as Caesaris syndrome or Caesaris leukemia. So as I said, these are the T cell type of leukemia lymphoma. Which T cell type? CD4 T cell type. They are the most common type of cutaneous T cell lymphoma. Why they are called as mycosis fungoid? Because their skin involvement will be resembling like a fungal infection. So they will be having patch, plaque and nodule. So you can see patches are present here on clinical examination. Plaques are present here and nodules are visible here. Mycosis fungoids overall they will be having very poor prognosis because of the frequent recurrences after the chemotherapy. Right? And on <coughs> microscopic examination you will find dermoepidermal junction. This is the dermoepidermal junction. At dermoepidermal junction you are going to see these are the tumor cells which are the CD4. T cells right so tumor cells are forming a band like infiltrate and they will be moving towards the epidermis like this so that is called as epidermotropism right and because of this epidermotropism you will see there are small small abscesses will be formed in epidermis they are called as poutriers micro abscess so you can see here these are the areas which will be showing you the bands of the lymphocytic infiltrate they are moving towards the epidermis that is called as epidermotropism and because of this epidermotropism you can see these are the areas which are the areas which are called as poutriers micro abscess right when a mycosis fungoid patient is presenting with generalized erythroderma so you can see that whole body is having reddish appearance brick red appearance so this is called as generalized erythroderma so that time we can expect they have undergone into the leukemic transformation so peripheral blood will be showing you the tumor cell and then it will be called as caesaris leukemia so mycosis fungoid is a cutaneous lymphoma caesaris leukemia is the leukemic form which is seen in the peripheral blood so in peripheral blood what we are going to see we are going to see a special type of cell known as caesaris luteinizer cells right so what is caesaris luteinizer cells when you are going to see in the cytoplasm you go you are going to see nuclear membrane invagination will be present which is also called as cerebri form nuclei right it is due to nuclear membrane involution and now you can see nuclear membrane involutions are present in these cells right so these are present in these cells so that is why it is called as cerebri form nuclei enjoy learning best wishes for